move into our flight phase. We're going to talk a little bit about the flight phase of our jump. In this phase of the jump, we want to have our, our athletes as short as they can be with rotation around the bar. So we're going to start out with a basic stretch, one, to stretch their hips out and get them ready for the movement, but also for them to have that awareness and know how they should feel in the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our, our girls laying down on the floor, and they're going to have their feet about shoulder width apart and their knees up. Using just their shoulders, they're going to push their hips up off the ground. Now, what we're going to say to the girls is, you know, they have their hips up off the ground, their shoulders down. Next thing we're going to tell them is, draw their knees outward. When they draw their knees outward, it's going to tilt their pelvis a little higher. You'll notice the distance in, in the way they just were. Okay, you may come down. We'll hold, this, we'll hold this stretch for a few seconds, and we'll do it several times. Each time, just trying to get the flexibility. Okay, let's try it again. Straight up first, knees outward, and try to push it up even more. You notice that they have a hip arch in here. We want to make sure that when they're jumping in the air, that their shoulders and their heels are fairly, fairly even with one another on top of the bar at their peak jump. Then their hips are always moving forward. Sometimes we use the phrase crunch the chip, crunch the chip, to get it tighter to push their hips up. Okay, come on down. Using our progression of skills, we went from a static or a stationary uh, stretch. Now we're going to go to a more dynamic stretch. We find that our young athletes learning how to jump. A lot of the children athletes will come over and they want to say, oh, "I want to be a high jumper. I want to be a high jumper." Then when it comes to it, they're afraid to fall back onto their back. So what we're going to do now is test out her fear on falling over to her back. But we know her background as a gymnast. We know she, she doesn't have that problem going backwards, but we want to show you the progression from what we do from the ground to on top of the mat. What she's going to do is just stay in there in that position, and she's going to focus on her hips. She's going to focus on her hips moving forward and drawing her shoulders back. We like to say Velcro your shoulders to your heels, but we don't like to say Velcro your heels to your shoulders. And the difference being, if I'm thinking about putting my shoulders to my heels, I'm going to drop my shoulders back. But if I'm thinking putting my heels to my shoulders, I'm going to bring my heels up and therefore wrap around the crossbar and not allow allowing my shoulders to drop. So with this drill here, it's just the next step, next progression. She's going to stand, on, stand there and just push her, her hips forward and land on her shoulders into that position. She has a nice hip arch. Try it again. Now this time when she does it, we want to add one more thing to it. We want her to land and get her hands away from her sides. We're going to want to have her hands up here. We're going to want to say we call it a volleyball set position when we jump. Bring your hands up and look through your window. So when she falls back, we want to see that she's on her shoulders and looking through her window, just driving her, her knees a little outward. Okay, let's try that one more time. That was a good start. Now, let's be a little more confident with the fall. When you get back there, make sure your knees are a little more out so your hips can come up. Try one more time. Worry about your, just fall back to your shoulders and put your hands in that position. Just fall, fall back with your shoulders like you did before, but keep your hands up. There. Just go ahead. Much better. And her knees are further out. You notice the height of her hips, much better. Her heels and on her shoulders. Okay, you can come down. Good. 